Talwin race the train rotary challenge in Talwin. So today it's so out. We're doing a 40 mile run and clues in the name race the train. So it's um, the world's oldest preserved railway. Basically it goes up the mountain and back down and we've got to try and beat it. We arrived two hours early because this year they didn't post out the numbers so we've got to collect them now just at the registration tent here so we'll let you know what number we are there we go registration and lost children if you lose your child by any chance so just got our numbers 73 for me what did you get I got four three seven which i'm not really happy with because it's not very aesthetic is it well we've both got a seven on the three yeah, I guess so. I guess um, so. So yeah, just collected our numbers. Pretty quiet actually, so literally two seconds. And they're already yeah. handing out the t-shirts, which we have a blue and a yellow t-shirt. Oh, one's upside down. I mean, the quite snazzy, aren't they? They are very. I mean, last year was yellow and blue. But so blue and yellow this year, so switch, after with that. Switch the colourway around. So that will definitely be getting put on at the end of the race. So here with the family today, got Tal, my brother and dad. So we all did this one last year, but none of us actually beat the train. So second time lucky, we'll give it another go. Conditions are more favorable today. It's not as hot. Yeah, so we've got to beat, I believe it's one hour 45 to beat the train. I got 1.53 last time, I believe. Yeah, so, but. That was my longest ever run, ever. And that was my first ever race in my entire life. So hopefully we can, a few of us can beat the train this time. Fingers crossed. But yeah, just sorting ourselves out, getting ready. Just chilling up, because we've got like an hour and a half to go. All got our numbers. We just got a cute little family photo, all our t-shirts on. Um, but yeah, we still got just under an hour and a half, but it's quite hard because we're just at the finish line. So there's, um, Three other races that happened and they all started earlier and they're all coming in now. So here's the finish and that's everyone else finishing. So we're just waiting around for now. We'll have a watch, cheer everyone else in and then wait until it's all in. That is what I'll be needing at the end of the race. Free massage, but no doubt it'll be really busy and I won't get one. But it's nice to have if obviously you do fancy waiting in the queue and you can get a nice massage at the end. So just having a wander around the other little stalls, there's a lot um, food wise, we've got like burger vans, ice cream vans, then we've got the ambulance service part and if you're stuck for choice, little car boot sale going on. So we might have a little wander around, see if there's any bargains to be had. We'll have a wander around the other little stalls, but it's a really good vibe, really good atmosphere and everyone's enjoying it. And if you are bringing your family along, we've got a little fun park for your rides. So it's definitely a good family event. There is a lot to do for the family and a great finishing straight so you can literally see the finish and all of the bits, but it's looking good. So here we have the railway, which is where the train will be. So hopefully we'll see it in a minute, but we're just walking into like the main town bit now. A um, few more crowds down this way cheering everyone on, but great vibe. So many supporters out today and oh, I don't know if we can see it, but the train is down there. So we've been sidetracked into the fridge magnet hall. I mean, this is the museum. I think the museum's just through there, but this is just the gift shop of the of the railway station. What have you got there? Oh, fridge magnet. Oh, fridge magnet. So for anyone who doesn't know where we are, we are here. Obviously, this is Wales. 
So we are right on the coast. Shoes on. Race. What? No, you can't be racing in Crocs. Yeah. Sally's fast. Sally is fast. Well, I've got my, I've got my shoes on. Where's your shoes? In the back. Oh, hi hydration, hydration. How many liters you taking? Uh, five hundred mil. Five hundred mil. Just added one of these. Oh, sis. Yeah. The pro ones. And uh, I've got 50p sour dummies to so keep me going. A couple of gels as well. As has got the pro gels. Yeah, so. Shock, me again. I bet they work, but I bet they're proper sour. Right, so we're pretty much ready. Got my shoes on, numbers on, race fast is ready. And we've got about 20 minutes now, so might have a walk up soon use the toilet because I'm sure the queue will be enormous. We'll go check on Dad and Taff, see if they're ready. And then I reckon we'll head up to the start, but it is very hot. Got sun cream on, so I will not be burning. But yeah, it's looking good. Very bright as well, so good job I've got the Oakleys. Just waiting on Dad and Taff. Shop, lastminute.com. Putting your shoes on. I think we all know that you'll be in the queue for the ladies' toilet for about half an hour, which means you'll be late for the start. <laughs> no, I don't know what he's on about. Anyone know this guy? <laughs> there he is. Oh, Having a nightmare with his headphones. The weekend goes. Right, I've got the beat. I thought my headphones weren't charged. Well, one of them was working on there, but I do a little tap, 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 and they're both working now. So, game on. So, heading towards the start line now. Ads has gone for a very last minute toilet stop so uh it's gonna be me for the vlog uh so you're gonna be with me for the 14 miles uh because we are looking for another gopro so we can obviously merge them together but i just got a rifle phone so we're gonna see if we can merge the clips together i uh, head towards the start it's a good vibe i'm ready well so ready i've not even done one stretch yet but that's the way i do stuff so heading towards it now gotta get a good spot to start because Last year, I spent too long overtaking people for the first like three, four miles. So, right, let's get to the start. The hill and the station below Aberdeen. So, got about five minutes to go. Start to barrier off the start. I think I'm too far to the front here. Yeah, I'm not this far. Waiting for, the, um, waiting for the carts to come through. Good to see you again, but uh, should, be a decent, should be a decent start to this one. So I'm going to aim to beat the train. Just been told we've got 10 minutes to go. The crowds are building now. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here, so it's going to be, it's going to be quite a fast one today. So I'm not excited now. down I think it's mainly mainly road until we get to the off-road bit which is about two miles in so we'll see you there Two miles down, the train has just passed us. A little bit of a downhill, two miles, 14 minutes. So, I'll take that, but I ain't gonna be able to keep this up. On to the next one. There we have the train 
the train line. Sorry, my oh, breath. Mate. Massive downhill. So, yeah, it's class so far. Oh, don't know what time I'm on, but Martin's just passed me, so better get moving. Oh, four miles. Oh my God. Eight minute mile, that was. We're still going. Still pushing through. It is hot. Ooh, mile four. Still going. A couple of water stops. Very hilly. Uh, but it's going well. Just very tiring on all these grass spots. So we're doing well. Just over five miles done now. Oh my god, it's humid. It is really humid, but we'll see. Soon we should be able to see the turnaround point where we go all the way up the hill, so stay tuned for that. Just about to hit six miles. It's a very scenic route. Very quiet as well. Reese has got his headphones and I don't know, a bit jealous because I'm literally in the man's land. But also good for admiring the beauty. Oh, but so many little steep hills, which we're knackering. We're getting through it. Here we go, water stop. Cheers. And here we are at the turnaround point, seven miles in. So, seven miles back, and this one's all uphill. So, now is the time the legs are going to start burning. Martin's gone off. He's, uh, he's really got to try and beat the train this time, but oh, we've got to keep going. Oh, it's turned into a walk up this hill. Oh. You actually can't go any faster than this. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Mile eight. Oh. That's probably the worst section to go in. Jesus Christ, it's so narrow. I fell over a handful of times. So, I'm gonna have some water at this water stop because I am absolutely hanging out. Mile so, on the way back in now, we are still in front of the train, but I'm sure it's going to come past soon. Just now I'm tired about uphill, so I'm dying. And it's so narrow, can't even overtake. But I'm in a little group just in front. Oh my god, this is hard. <laughs> I'm definitely not a cross country runner. Almost nine miles down, but, oh, we keep it going. Jesus Christ. Oh. That's when we have to get through it. Oh, can't go through it, can't go through it. Oh. Oh, it's quite fresh on the feet though. Almost at 10 miles, so almost, almost in. Hopefully it's all downhill from now, because we've been climbing for ages. Uh-oh, here comes the train. Oh, well, not further than last year. Here it comes. Where is it? so far but well done to everyone that's still in front of the train <sighs> back up we go steepest hill of the course oh my god that's the last thing you need when you're 11 miles in 
Oh my god, it's steep. <laughs> Eleven and a half down. Oh my god, feet are starting to hurt now, and the back as well. But still, we're still plodding along. Still getting there. My boy, I'm gonna tank a full pack of Harry boats. <sighs> Last two miles, actually. No, one mile, one mile to go. My feet are feeling it now, really feeling it. Like, I'm almost getting the blister stage, but one mile to go. Really not stopping now, let's go. 12 miles, just about to hit, I can see the sign, just up there, so two miles to go. But the crowds, you get the crowds like, down the course here. Really nice and supportive, and lots of water stations as well, because it's so dry, so having a drink is definitely needed. But yeah, doing alright. Two miles to go, be in the main town surely. And we'll have all the crowds cheering us on. Oh, half a mile to go. Just heading back into the town now. Oh, half a mile to go. Oh my god, this has been long. This has been a right struggle, but we're so close to finishing and so close to getting my Harry Bows. Last little hill. Last little hill to go. Then we're in. Let's go. Last little bit to the finish line now. Oh my god. So close. Oh. Go on, Reese! Let's go! And there we are, race finish. But not yet, we're still waiting on ads. Still waiting, Addy. Addy passed me, but I couldn't, I didn't remember overtaking her, so everyone else is in except her. So we're literally waiting on the finish line, waiting for her to hopefully come in. Hopefully, she's okay. She passed me, and I didn't remember overtaking her. So hopefully, she's there somewhere. Come on, ads. There she is. There she is! Go on, babe! And we've done it! Look at that medal. Woo! Ah. Look at that. Oh, where is it? There's a... Yeah, you got it. Proper one. Nice metal. Nice, nice metal. Better than last year. We've got ourselves a little sour tub of sweets. Like I said, I was absolutely hanging with some sweets. I think I did it in two... 02 I think but I had a bit of a niggle about three miles in and um I'd smashed it out of the park yes again. No, no. <laughs> you did. Uh, two two ten for me. Two so. ten, which is still a good time. You know what I mean? Considering that we have been on holiday for the past like two weeks <laughs> and we've done that like, hardly anyone so it's been good. I think we should be back next year because this is like a family tradition now. It is. It is. We but do enjoy it. We do enjoy it and Martin was two minutes off the train, which is unreal. Tal smashed it as well. Tal smashed it as well. Tal, he's really getting to his running now, so shout out to them too. Anything else more to add? No, great vibes. Um, we've definitely much needed water stops, lifesaver. Oh, 100%. Um, I, I, da I dashed them all onto me, I died. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> most of them. There was loads of marshals throughout the uh, throughout the course on the on the track, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we vlogged it okay. So, until next time. Be kind. Be happy. Run, Run well. well.